Hello and thanks for joining us on TCM for 31 Days of Oscar. I'm Dave Carger. Tonight we're taking a look at the two films that won the Academy Awards for Best Screenplay for the year 1941. We just showed you Orson Welles' Citizen Kane, which took home the Best Original Screenplay Oscar, and up next is the winner of Best Adapted Screenplay. From Columbia Pictures in 1941, directed by Alexander Hall and starring Robert Montgomery, it's Here Comes Mr. Jordan. Montgomery plays Joe Pendleton, an up-and-coming prize fighter with a passion for playing the saxophone. After a successful match, Pendleton decides to fly in his small plane to his next fight, much to the chagrin of his manager, played by James Gleason. Pendleton's plane crashes and he dies, but he soon discovers that his death was a mistake. And with the help of the enigmatic heavenly being, Mr. Jordan, Pendleton is given a second chance at life. Here Comes Mr. Jordan is based on the play Heaven Can Wait, written by Harry Siegel in 1938, and adapted for the screen by Sidney Buckman and Seton I. Miller. Siegel won the Academy Award for Best Original Story, and Buckman and Miller received the award for Best Adapted Screenplay. Columbia Pictures boss Harry Cohn had reservations about the production after receiving criticism from some of the studio's financial backers. To ease the tension, Sidney Buckman personally discussed details of the script with Cohn, who then saw the film's potential, throwing his full support behind the project. The film was a huge success, earning a total of seven Academy Award nominations and winning those two Oscars for its story and screenplay. Also starring Evelyn Keyes, Edward Everett Horton, and Claude Rains as Mr. Jordan, here comes Mr. Jordan. <laughs> 